Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna talk about Arena and specifically Anti-Air DPS Arena. So, ever since my Lust and Silas 10x, I've obtained both Lux, Arrogance and Silas, which was amazing for this account and that's quite changed the way I play single target, uh, I mean Anti-Air DPS. So, this is my lineup. I'm gonna show you the gear as well and uh, show you some replacements if you don't have um, other characters, so some of these characters. So if you're lucky and you have Hatset, I would definitely replace Razak with Hatset. Um, and uh, I would place uh, Dolores instead of Mari, because Dolores is going to provide the extra amount of damage required for you to melt down the monsters before passing you by and remaining uncovered and losing you the arena so yes if you have headset uh, definitely replace Razak with headset and add uh, Dolores instead of Mari if you have Raka uh, replace Lunaria with Raka that's pretty self-explanatory uh, Lunaria is a good epic lord but Raka is definitely going to be better and um, if you don't have Silas or Hex replace them with uh, Idril. Idril is going to be quite helpful there. Okay, so um, basically Lunaria doesn't have insane gear. She isn't crit crept at all. I don't put her in the arena for her DPS. I basically keep her there just for her lowered bonus. Um, Silas has some decent gear. I made sure that he's crit capped and has an infernal roar set i usually go for broken sets if um, if i feel like uh, the stat requirements aren't met but since it's silas i really think that the infernal roar is going to benefit him quite a lot but uh, depending on what type of broken set you have and how well or how much crit damage you can add in um, at the same time with the attack bonus uh, I would uh, keep him into this Infernal Roar set uh, if you don't have at least one, 200 plus uh, percentage crit damage in a broken set. Uh, Hex is in a broken set actually. Uh, I decided to keep him in a broken set because it fares him better and I don't actually have another good Infernal Roar and I'm fairly, fairly okay with his attack bonus i know he's a little bit over crit cap as well as uh, silas but i don't mind and his crit damage is decent nothing too crazy as you can see he's only 88,000 bp um then i have razak which is in decent gear crit cap with a little bit of crit damage i don't really use razak that much i used to have uh, to have use him in campaign progression but right now i don't really use him besides a little bit of arena and extra um, bonus for the exp and gold in tandem with reeve or rev captain rev and mari is there because i want to give silas and hex enough um time to actually hit the targets and mari provides not only the freeze but also some um some um slow so she's basically built in just an attack speed set um, an attack speed build she's in a broken set i don't build her for anything else but slow and utility so go for as much attack speed as you can with mari alternatively you can uh, use boreas in if you don't for if you for example don't have um, Hex or Silas, you can replace one of them with Adriel, the other with uh, Boreas. So that can also work. You can replace Razak with Nyx if you don't have Razak. So there are a multitude of ways that you can replace these guys. Um, this is a fairly versatile arena, but usually um, Silas and Hex are fair quite well. Silas especially, and Hatset especially. Hex is a little bit of a weird marksman he is considered a marksman but behaves more like a mage um, because of his cycling between cards and all 
but he is very good at single target DPS. So yeah, let's uh, start the fight. Oh, this guy is going for a mage build for the anti-air. We'll see if we can beat him, but let's see. So I start off with Silas. As you can see, this guy is this guy is using Idril as his main marksman. There we go. The first round is fairly easy to win against any marksman. If they don't have Silas, you're basically going to win. You don't need to use your ultimate yet. Uh, if you're using my lineup, Silas and Hex are able to deal with these guys fairly easily without activating their ultimate. And the next one into our lineup should be uh, Mari. And we will activate Mari's ultimate only in the next round, but we will activate these guys' ultimates um, a little bit later on, like right now, when they get into the Mari range. Because their ultimate are going to be um, transported into the next round. Okay, and this round should be ours. The next one into our lineup should be Razak. That was a nice Boreas timing from their side. Now we're gonna use Mari's ultimate as long as as soon as they reach her. Like right now. And put Razak down. with Razak there we go and we put one area here so that extended range is going to be up until this point so she covers this side also an area provides a little bit of utility with her debuffing and slowing targets if you have her A5 uh, not slowing but more actually just um, mini stunning them so yeah as you can see we won that uh, it was fairly easy uh, the only thing that I was concerned about was the AoE that he was able to uh, output because of Boreas and Comet but we made it work uh, what you should watch out for are compositions that um, are composed of either Silas, Hax, uh, Silas, Hex, and Hatset, or any Hatset with Boreas. These are pretty hard to beat, especially if they have good gear. But if you have this lineup that I have, this is what you should watch out for. Let's do one more. So I can reiterate the timings, depending on what I face. Considering he has a headset, he's most definitely going to do pretty well against um, a bunch of um, stacked enemies. So he has a different approach with Idril right up there. So he's be going to be able to hit some, um, some of the monsters earlier. But that's not too much of a big deal. He plays down Hex as before. Remember, you don't need to use the ultimate. Even if you lose this round, it doesn't matter. Now, we wait for Mari. Now, use our rules. This guy is the perfect example that you don't need legendaries to win arena. Like he's making pretty good use of Theo in any drill. He's gonna reach headset and she's gonna melt them. Right, there we go. Barely lost that one. We're gonna wait for Lerzak. But remember to use Mari's ultimate. Now we use ultimate. 
right after it finishes we will use Razax slightly quick slightly too quickly there because you wanted to also hit these guys here and this one was a loss so you see how important is facing against specific compositions because headset there is pretty pretty important so as long as if you were to get into the late game where the monsters have more a little bit more hp and defense he would have lost but considering that he used basically an all-in um, composition because we didn't manage to defeat quicker than he was able to defeat the monsters um, they managed to get us early and win the arena but uh, this doesn't necessarily have to happen all the time so yeah this is the video i think you should watch out for compositions like this because every headset composition in this anti-air dps is pretty insane um, watch out for headset with dolores uh, silas is pretty good but if you also have silas you can outpace them uh, so yeah i hope this video was helpful uh, make sure to leave a comment let me know what you think if you have different combinations uh, don't forget to like subscribe i read every single single comment that i see this has been andy event horizon gaming bye bye